All right. Just adjusting. So you can't see all of my messy desk. Hello, hello. And welcome to Paper Delights with Shannon. I'm Shannon. Hello. I come on every evening at 7 o'clock, Monday to Friday, to motivate you and fire your imagination and to talk about paper and crafting and all that good stuff. I sell Stamping Up products, but not everything I use is from there, but they are an amazing company and I do love all their products. So, welcome. All right, I hope everyone had a great evening. Just trying to figure out why things are glitchy, if it's me or if it's my camera. Oh, well, all right, maybe it's just me then. So, tonight we're sort of going off script. We're gonna do a few little different things. This is the sale that is coming up for the designer series paper. And I'm showing it to you early because I have a feeling a lot of the papers are going to go super, super quick. So if you are interested in any of the papers, most of which you've seen me do cards with, some of them I have not yet, um, please let me know. Um, I will be putting an order in like October 1st, like as soon as I can, because like I said, I think these papers are going to go super, super fast. So you've seen me use the Forever Greenery, the Peony Garden, the Whale of a Time, the Snowflake Splendor. I'm using Magic in this night for lots of Halloween stuff. Not so much cards, but heartwarming hugs you've seen. In Good Taste, this is where I have all that beautiful wood pattern that you've seen. Um... Yeah, so a lot of the paper I've used playing with patterns, I'll be using some of that too. So beautiful paper. If, uh, if uh, like I said, this one I'll be getting and this one I'll be getting. Gorgeous paper. So you can't go wrong. And at 15% off, now is a great time to sort of load up on uh, any paper, especially for Christmas. Like if you send out a lot of Christmas cards, this would be the time to load up on some of your um, Christmas paper so that you can send off your Christmas cards. So, so yeah, so please send me a message and let me know if you're interested in any of that. So, I also wanted to talk to you about breast cancer and October. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And for some of you watching um if you're watching on the youtube channel channel or you've or you don't know me very well i am a survivor of breast cancer it's only been two years two and a half years um since my diagnosis and subsequent surgeries chemo and radiation so october this time of year it is a little triggering for me because this is around the time i had my surgery and um yeah so october is breast cancer awareness month really something very obviously very dear to my heart so I'm doing my very first breast cancer fundraiser um, and we'll be focusing on the toll tidings paper so it's one of the papers that's on sale as well it's super pretty Isn't that pretty so you get it's like this old-fashioned with very vanilla it's really sweet I love it so you'll get eight cards with four different designs not these ones specifically I just wanted to show you these are from designs that I had uh, previous um, so you'll get eight cards four different designs you'll get a six by six pack of paper that is extra it's 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 extra for you to use and make other cards it's not it's not that you'll need to use it for these cards, it's extra. You'll get uh, two yards of the scalloped ribbon, some red linen ribbon, some red um, sheer ribbon, some gems, and we'll, and you'll get two uh, 3D projects. So all of that will be for $40, and any uh, profits from it are all going to uh, breast cancer awareness. If you need um, stamps for... Um, sentiments because I'm not going to have sentiments on my on the cards that I design um, you can add it on 
for $30. Itty Bitty Christmas is a really cute little stamp set, but you can order whichever stamp set you prefer. So that is our breast cancer fundraiser is the Toll Tiding Christmas cards. So this uh, I'll be coming on to do with you guys, or there'll be a link to a YouTube channel and you can watch it at a later date. So that's one of the fundraisers. The other is that um, I've created a, a page, or an album I should say, on my Facebook page that I will have products um, that will be available for sale. Again, all the proceeds will go to breast cancer awareness, or breast cancer research, sorry. These I had made for when I had finished treatment to send as thank you cards. They're really quite sweet and I happen to have a bunch left over and they were donated to me by the very kind and generous Marianne. So I thought it only fitting that, isn't that cute? I thought it only fitting that these, um, the monies that raised from this go back to, to cancer research. So these will be available on sale. I have a few full packs, well, full packs, they're packs of six, so there are six of all the same kind, and I've got two of these ones, and then I've got some singles. So if you're interested in just some singles. So that will be in that album for sale. Also, we'll be making cards with this stamp set. This is um, a stamp set that was designed, again, supporting breast cancer research. So cards will be made with that and will be available for sale in that um, album if you're interested in purchasing and again all of that will go towards as a donation towards research so that being said dun, 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 paper pumpkin paper pumpkin paper pumpkin is so adorable it's so freaking cute so it's a, a monthly subscription and you can buy one month you can buy three months six months however you want it you can get it every single month. You can skip months, whatever you like. When you first order paper, they send you get a um, stamp pad. And this comes to your door. It's $30 a month. And it comes to your door once a month. And this is a, a Halloween one from 2019. But I just had to show you just how adorable Paper Pumpkin is. So... This one is to make little treat boxes. So you get inside, you'll get the instructions and the instructions are really very simple. And then they'll show you other ideas that you can make with the products, okay? Sometimes there's little videos. Some of the newer ones have little videos. And inside you get everything you need to make what they've showed you. So you'll get some little stamps you get a little ink pad and these ink pads they'll last you a good long time you know I still have some from a couple years ago that I still use so they're they're a good deal you'll get glue dots you'll get oh my goodness you get everything you need so this kit made makes these cute little gift boxes and I made a few ahead of time look at that isn't that cute so it's these cute little, look at that, it has little black clips to clip it on. It's so freaking adorable, I'm telling you. So it comes with everything that you need. So it gives you the little skeletons, you can punch those out. It gives you the little name cards and then you just stamp on it what the sentiment that you want. It had the little um, clips. It had the tags, so this one I used a black tag and the little spider web. This one is a, a purple tag. So I thought, here, we'll make them real, we'll make one so you can sort of see what it looks like, what a paper pumpkin kind of is. And the reason why I'm showing you this is that um, there is going to be one coming out in um, November that you have until October 10th, I believe, to, to sign up for it. And it's going to have eight, I think it was eight, I couldn't find my sheet. I usually have a sheet that 
shows you because we're not really we don't really see oh there it is we don't really see what it is but they sort of give us a hint right so this is going to be eight elegant holiday cards and you can see here that there's pine cones and pine branches so that's sort of the hint that it's going to have probably something to do with that perhaps and joy to the world sort of theme um, but eight elegant so you can I'm telling you they're going to be gorgeous because these paper pumpkins are so freaking cute I just adore them so I did the ones with the uh, polka dots so let's do this one here with the little striped box so it shows you how to put the box together right it gives you the boxes now not all of them are gift boxes some of them are um, cards most of them are cards but at different times of years they'll do um, little treat boxes or tags I have one pu uh, paper pumpkin that's uh, tags like Christmas tags so then it shows you here that you take out your stamps and you can stamp them so let's see here it's telling you to stamp the little, the little uh, crossbones here. And I'm not gonna open this one because I have one, so I'm gonna grab that. <clears throat> so it shows you on the instructions, you just, oops, you just stamp your crossbones. In different places there you go and then let's see what else does it show you it says to take one of the vellum dots and everything like quite seriously everything you need is in the kit so these were the spider webs that I used for this one isn't that cute how adorable is that they're so much fun, these kits. Fun to do with kids. Well, I like to do them. So that you get a little piece of vellum. So you got the whole sheet all ready to go, all cut out for you. So I'm gonna put a little bit of... So usually you would use the, the glue dots. So they give you a bunch of glue dots to use, but again, I'm gonna keep those for another day. So I'm going to put my thingy on it here and then it says instructions for to take a either a skeleton or a spider web so we already did a spider web so let's do a skeleton so I just pop out the skeleton so cute and the great thing about this is that even after I'm done using this stuff I still have the stamps. So the stamps have skeletons, bon appetit, oh, bon appetit, sorry, happy Halloween, eat if you dare, toxic treats, trick or treat, and then these two skeletons. So you could even use this to make other cards and stuff, which I would most likely do. So, and then it even gave me, yeah, so these are dimensionals, but there's, they look at all the details, which I love. Most dimensionals, are white they gave you black dimensionals because you're doing Halloween stuff like they think of all these little details which makes this um, the paper part like it just such a great little project a lot of um, demonstrators will still order paper pumpkin because the products and the stamp sets in there they don't you can't get them anywhere else like you can't order them in the catalog they're only in the paper product uh, paper pumpkin and so you'll see a lot of uh, demonstrators will order paper pumpkin because of the exclusivity to so to speak right like there's such cute little stamps but you can't get anywhere at any other time so so we'll put our skeleton how cute is that there you go and then I already punched out a bunch of the hands. Talk to the hand. And I already put it on to the, the clip. So then we would just take this 
take our little box, clip it on, fill our box with goodies. Oh, I forgot our bon, app bon Appetit. Oh, how dare I? I can't believe I forgot that. Bon Appetit. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Too cute. Put it down there. Put it across the top. I kind of think that's funny. There we go. Bon Appetit. There. So, um, I know with Halloween coming, and it's going to be really different this year, so this set was gifted to me, and so I will put this in uh, the fundraiser. So if you are interested in some little treat boxes for your monkeys, uh, they will be available for sale. And again, all the proceeds, because they were gifted to me, everything, what you pay for them, that will all go as a um, donation for breast cancer research. So I just think they're just too adorable. Isn't that cute? So that is Paper Pumpkin. It's a, like I said, it's a great deal and uh, a lot, a lot of fun. And often you can find lots of alternatives to make with with the sets. So, so as I was making those, I started playing around with pulling out some of my other boxes. So this one here is a nice orange box that I've put some images on either side. Okay, so, and then, where did it go? I thought, well, I'll show you how to do some of these. For those that don't have um, a Cricut, you could use your Cricut and make some really cool boxes, but just in case you don't. So this is a sheet um, that is four by nine, okay? And then what you do is, you sort of measure into, so this is my little trick. I'm gonna show you my tricks. So you sort of measure where two, cause it's four, you know, it's exactly four. So you find where two is and you just make a little mark. And then I know that I need it to go to, cause I folded it in half. So I need to get this angle. So how it looks is that when you fold it up and you put a ribbon, you've got this really cute box like that it's really simple so we'll do this one together so I know that I I'm at two so I'm just making a little a little mark at two because that's where I know I have to meet my corners have to come to that that spot right so I have to go from my two, oops, my two mark to my end mark. Now, what I've done is on my scoring board is with a black permanent marker, I marked my line all the way. So what I do, and this is just me, is I will take my, where my two mark is on the line, and then I line up my corner on the black line because I can still see it, and then I just go straight down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So again, so I line up this side on the black line. I look for the corner and I put it on the black line and then I just score it down. And then I'll do the same. I'm marking where my two is. Oh my goodness, I don't have my glasses on and there's a glare. So two is here. And then I'm lining it up so that my corner comes on the black line like that and then I do it again on this side like that there you go and then you just fold it it's really that simple and I find this has made it it makes it so so simple there you go so now this one I put in a bit bigger hole 
and once it's filled you would put some black ribbon or that's what I plan on doing is putting some black ribbon and maybe you know like a happy Halloween or something like that um, but you can do a, a, a smaller um, a smaller hole if you wanted to as well I just didn't have anything in between those sizes so so that's a, a easy way of making a little um, box or can packaging for some of the Halloween treats right the other one show you is like a box box so this is my um, template so I often use pieces of paper that are um, cardstock that that's not used anymore kind of thing or colors that I don't like and so this is my template so I know that it's five and a quarter in the width and I know that it's seven and a half in the length and I know that I have to score at two and a half three and a half six and seven and then you turn it and you score at one now you can do the scoring um on the cutter it does have like a little score but I find for the cardstock um, it scores better on the board um, but you can certainly score it on the um, on the cutter so I said two and a half three and a half whoops Three and a half, six, and seven. And then you turn it and you go one inch. Oh my goodness, I'm coming off the ends here. One inch. All right. So now I know that. I don't need this little piece here so I just snip it off snip it off and then you fold everything and then you're gonna cut up to the fold line I'm just doing it quick so you can all see so then you just cut to your fold line now we could make this box bigger I've made it so that it wasn't too big so like it would fit you know like maybe one Kit Kat bar or maybe some stickers or you know something like that right? but you could definitely make them bigger so you just glue your pieces or tape your pieces the stamp and seal plus is would be really good for this I will have to order some or if you have tear and tape that would work too but I use what I got and so to think about how I'm doing this here there we go all right so I want my flaps to come in flaps to come in box to come around and glue on the edge just like that and then the bottom comes up So there's the box. Um, the original one had had a, a punch in it, so you could add a ribbon to it, which you can do with that one eventually. And then you can add whatever you want on it. I had these um, 
They were spider webs, but they were just a plain black. And so what I did was I took my frosty white misty and I sprayed it and made them really sparkly. And so I'm going to be adding that to the box to make it all fancy like. So there will definitely be a bunch of um, Halloween boxes in the um, breast cancer um, book. Um, uh, oh my goodness. In the breast cancer um, fundraising album. So one of the lovely side effects of my chemo is that my memory is not very good. And when I get tired, it is worse, which is often why you hear me pause or sort of, you know, get frustrated because I can't find my words. So, but you're going to be learning all about that next month, I'm telling you. So, there will be a number of boxes available for purchase. And again, because all of, a lot of these things were donated to me, um, the, all the proceeds will go for the fundraiser. So, so yeah, so I wanted to show you guys that and talk about all of those things. So, thank you so much for joining me this evening. I hope I've uh, perked your interest in some paper pumpkins. And uh, yeah, have yourself a wonderful evening. Tomorrow we'll go back to making regular cards. I just, I wanted to show you some of these things and explain a few things. So, so yeah, so tomorrow we'll go back to making some regular cards and uh, keep your eye out for the the uh the breast cancer fundraising pay album because you never know what you might find in there some fun halloween and some card sets and all sorts of things so perfect thank you so so much for joining me this evening uh, i hope you've been encouraged and energized to get into your craft room and start making some awesome crafts and uh and yeah be safe stay happy I don't know what to put here to show you guys, but anyway, thank you so, so much. Have yourself a wonderful evening and thank you again. Please like and share and uh, please share the album uh, for the fundraiser with anyone that you think that might be interested in any of the items in it and help me raise some money for breast cancer research. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening.